Okay, in this video I want to do another long division of polynomials. Um, an example that's maybe a touch harder than the other ones. Um, I've had a couple requests. So this time we're going to take uh, the polynomial x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus x squared plus x minus uh, 4. I think my country accent came out there for a second. We're going to divide all that by x squared minus 2x plus 5. Okay, so again notice underneath there even though there wasn't an x cubed term, I went ahead and filled in the 0x cubed just as a placeholder. Um, you know, all this is going to do, again, is just help you keep, I think, things lined up. Notice also it's in descending, um, descending order. Uh, so fourth power, third power, second power, first power, and our constant. Same thing on what we're dividing by on the outside. Again, you just focus in on the highest powered things, x squared and x to the fourth. And um, usually something I always did too is I went ahead and put my stuff in parentheses just to remind myself to distribute everything out. Okay, so I think x squared times what is x to the fourth? Well, I'll need another x squared when I do that. So I have to distribute everything, um, x squared to everything. So I'll get an x to the fourth term. I'll get minus 2x to the third. Looks like I'll get positive. 5x squared. And again, I like to put all this stuff in parentheses before I subtract because it reminds me, again, I have to um, distribute this negative sign out. So the first term should always cancel out or you've done something wrong. So we get 0x to the fourth. Two negatives make a positive 2x to the third. Notice I'll get 1x squared minus 5x squared. So that's negative 6x squared and then we drop down our next number which is just our positive x and then now I play the same game <clears throat> I look at my x squared and I look at my highest powered term and I think well x squared times what is going to give me 2x to the third well I'll need a positive 2 to get the 2 and then I believe I'll need an extra x to get that x to the third power okay so again 2x times x squared is going to give me 2x to the third so again, now I distribute this guy by everything in the parentheses. So I'll get 2x to the third. It looks like we'll get negative 4x squared. And then we'll get a positive 10x. Again, I do the same thing. I just put it in parentheses and subtract it out. So the 2x cubes will cancel out. I'll get negative 6x squared plus 4x squared. So that's negative 2x squared. I'll have x minus 10x, so that's negative 9x. And then again, I drop my number down, my minus 4. Okay, so that'll be the new part. Again, now I look at the x squared and the negative 2x squared, and I think, well, x squared times what is negative 2x squared? I'll need a negative 2. So again, when I multiply, I'll get negative 2x squared. I'll get positive 4x. Um, I'll get negative 2 times positive 5, which is negative 10. Again, I put it in parentheses, subtract. I'll get negative 2x squared plus 2x squared, which is 0x squared. I'll get negative 9x minus 4x. That'll give me negative 13x. And then I'll get negative 4 plus 10. Negative 4 plus 10 is positive 6. And once you look at the highest power of the thing that's remaining, once the degree of that is smaller than the degree of the highest power thing that you're dividing by, you are finished. Okay. So we've done all the long division. So really it says um, what, what we have here as a result is we can write um, polynomial. So we were starting with, um, I didn't write it out, but we had x to the fourth minus x squared plus x minus 4. That's the thing I put underneath. Um, we're dividing by x squared minus 2x plus 5. And it says what all of this is going to equal to um, at the end. It says all of this is going to equal what we got on top, which is x squared plus 2x minus 2 plus okay. Your, this is going to be your remainder, just like with normal long division. So our remainder is negative 13x 
plus 6. And whatever you are dividing by, that's what goes on the bottom. So x squared minus 2x plus 5. And that would be your final answer. And the long division of this is now complete. So touch, a touch harder, just a, a touch longer. You've got to be a good, a, a good bookkeeper and keep everything lined up. But you know, if you had 20 things out front and 20 things or 30 things inside of here, you would just do the same thing. Make it in descending order. Fill in any missing values, such as the 0x cubed here. Um, and you just have to keep grinding away until finally um, your remainder has a smaller degree than uh, what you're dividing by. So, alright, I hope this example makes some sense and helps you out out there.